Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So if you're not aware, Kanye West has been making headlines for the past couple of weeks, and he has made a lot of controversial statements. Now, one of his statements has gotten so bad that the family of George Floyd is suing him for $250 million. The statement that he made was that George Floyd did not pass away because of the officer having his knee on his neck, but because Joy Floyd passed away due to fentanyl. It says, after weeks of spewing anti-Semitic and controversial remarks, Kanye West has found himself at the center of a $250 million lawsuit filed by the family of police brutality victim, George Floyd. The article also mentioned that the mother of Floyd's daughter will sue Kanye West for harassment, misappropriation, defamation, and infliction of emotional distress. The lawsuit comes just days after the Donda rapper made this Disparaging comments about the 2020 death of Floyd sparked the Black Lives Matter movement and global crisis against police brutality. So what Kanye West said, I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put out. They hit him with fentanyl. If you look, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. This caused a lot of backlash and as we know, Kanye West and also Candace Owens have been going at the Black Lives Matter movement. And Kanye West wore that White Lives Matter shirt, which caused a lot of controversy two weeks ago. But the question remains, is he entitled to freedom of speech or should he deserve to get sued? One thing about the law is that you cannot defame somebody who has passed away. Not saying that Kanye West is right, but per law, you cannot defame somebody who has passed away. So will this lawsuit go through or is the family just hoping that Kanye West will settle for less? Now here's the thing, when George Floyd had passed away, Kanye West had donated $2 million and paid college tuition for George Floyd's daughter. So the article says Kanye West has made a $2 million donation to support the families of George Floyd, Amon Avery and Breonna Taylor. The donation includes funding for legal fees for Avery and Taylor's family, along with black owned businesses and crisis in his native Chicago and other cities. West representative, said he established a 529 education plan to fully cover college tuition for Gianna Floyd, the six-year-old daughter of George Floyd. And on top of that, when George Floyd had passed away, it was found out that heart disease, fentanyl contributed to George Floyd's death, but were not main causes, medical examiner says. So according to CNN, George Floyd's heart disease and use of fentanyl were contributing factors to his death, but they were not the direct cause the medical examiner who performed his autopsy testified on Friday in the trial. So according to the autopsy, heart disease and fentanyl did contribute to his death. Now I'm not saying Kanye West is right. Will this loss would be able to go through? Even the autopsy report said that fentanyl did contribute to his death. But Kanye, he took it a little further he said that his knee was not even on his neck like that. Basically trying to imply that it wasn't because of the knee on the neck. It was just fentanyl that caused his death. It's caused a lot of outrage. But one thing we cannot say, we cannot say that Kanye West hates George Floyd. The fact that when this initially had happened, he had donated $2 million and set up for his daughter to get her tuition paid off when she goes to college and she's only six years old. So does Kanye West deserve to be sued? What do you guys think? Is he really crazy? The reality of the situation is we're not going to talk about whether Kanye West is right or wrong but the reality is Kanye no matter how many billions you may have no matter how much popularity that you may have no matter how famous you may be how many fans you may have you're a black man and you're a black man in America and the way our society in America is right now whether you're telling the truth or not the reality is freedom of speech does not exist in America it does not you can't just say whatever you want you can try but it's going to come with a lot of backlash whether you're right or wrong. That's just the reality of the situation. And Kanye West, I may not agree with everything that he says, but he has made some good points in his Drink Champs interview. No, I'm not talking about the George Floyd, but just other things that he was talking about in the interview. You cannot deny that he was making some good points. You have to listen to the entire interview. Don't just take a little portion of it. But Kanye, the reality is in America, free speech does not exist. Freedom of speech is not here, all right? And especially being a black man, no matter how rich you are, you definitely are not gonna have freedom of speech, freedom to do whatever you want, all right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.